Have you ever thought about sending non-website data into Google Analytics? Well, this is something I've been exploring um, for a little bit, and with the potential release of Universal Analytics at the end of this year from Google, um, this has become a real possibility. So I'm going to show you a little proof of concept. I picked up a uh, Wemo switch and remote, which is essentially uh, two parts. You get the switch, which looks like this, and this switch um, turns on and off with this button, and it's connected to wireless as well, so you can turn it on and off via your iPad. And then I've got the same thing up here, except this is a sensor. So when the beam is broken, um, this sensor sends an alert out on your wireless network. So what I decided to do um, to show this working is decided to track uh, track these two sensors in Google Analytics. So what I'm doing is whenever the switch turns on and off, I send a page view into Google Analytics, which you can see here in real time. And also when the sensor is broken, I send a message in. So I'm just going to prove that. Um, I'm going to just break the beam here and we'll come back and look at real time and there you can see there has been another bar so once again let me just move back so get these both in picture break the beam and you get a hit once more break the beam and there we go and just to prove this is live so I have now um, I'm gonna hit the switch here I'm gonna hit it five times so one two three four five and up here you can see not only are those page views coming in but the page name here don't know if you can make that out but it actually says Wemo Wemo switch one so it's telling me which sensor this came from and within GA um, in the new Universal Analytics, you have the ability to upload custom dimensions. So I've actually created a custom dimension called Sensor. So you can see under here, I've got one called Sensor. And I've built a custom report which shows me the total events and the event value for this particular sensor. So if I just save that. You can see here I've got my two sensors, the motion and the switch, and this is how many times they've been triggered. So obviously there's a bit of a lag here, so this isn't real time, but um, when that data comes in it will be updating. So obviously uh, that's a sort of proof of concept. In the real world you would potentially have your offline store linked to your analytics account so when someone walked into the store for example you could have pressure sensors under the carpet and monitor whereabouts in your store was getting the highest footfall um, you could also potentially link up your EPOS system so whenever you made a sale within the store you could pass that data into Universal Analytics so uh, this is a very exciting time and um, I look forward to Universal Analytics being released uh, in the near future